Well, I'll be hanged. King George has grown tired of our shenanigans. Who's the grim fella? That's Captain Woods Rogers. Not a man I want seeing my face. We desire a parley with the men who call themselves governors of this island. Charles Vane, Ben Hornigold, and Ed Thatch. Come forth, if you please. Hear about the King's pardon, I reckon. What the hell is Hornigold doing? Really <sighs> living punk? What are you men up to? I am grateful for your geniality, Captain Hornigold. I assume... Don't mistake my decorum for deference, Governor. I'm eager to hear what you have to say. But of uncertain mind otherwise. Very well put. And it's a fairer shake than I expected to see from any pirate. But I promise fair treatment to all who hear me out. I'll wait a while longer, Governor Rogers. These rascals show their true talents. Calm, Commodore Chamberlain. I have given Captain Hornigal my word that we will be able to do you a little good. Men like him are a flight from His Majesty's reputation and a peculiar hand of twisting the new world. The King wants them eradicated, above all else. King has been particularly ineffective in bringing about this change, hasn't he? And has failed at all attempts until now. Careful how you talk about his majesty, Governor. You're here at his pleasure. I have my methods, Commodore, and I expect you to honor them to the left. Confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. Ah! 
A lot of you. Make way for the king's emissaries. Out of the way, you bastards. Go on. Our only aim here is to treat with the masters of this community. All others are encouraged to go about their usual business. Go on, move! Go! Commodore Chamberlain, please see that all merchants, masons, and carpenters are rounded up and brought to me this afternoon. We must see about repairing this fortress. You should be confiscating weapons, Governor. Send these pirates a clear, strong message that the King's emissaries are not to be trifled with. I have no wish to stir up animosity here, Commodore. And though well armed, we are outnumbered by a decent margin. Slow persuasion is our best and most efficient weapon. Twaddle, Governor! We should sink every goddamn ship not flying the King's colors. To do otherwise protects a certain weakness in our bearing. Silence, Commodore! I am the goddamn governor here, serving at the king's pleasure, and I will make the bloody decisions. Is that clear, sir? Aye, sir. Your wishes are clear as crystal. Rogers believes he can make men of these monkeys yet. I do not. Return to your post and await my orders. before the 5th of January, next ensuing. And we do hereby strictly charge and command all our admirals, captains, and other officers at sea. And all our governors and commanders of any forts, castles, or other places in our plantations. And all our officers, civil and military, to seize and take such of the pirates who shall refuse or neglect to surrender themselves accordingly. Help! 
I pray you take the prudent course, gentlemen, and accept the king's pardon as soon as your hearts allow. For until such time, all of you will be confined in Nassau. I am sorry for this. But in lieu of a public trial, this pardon is your best bet. The governor puts it far too brightly, maggots. Take this message home. Accept the king's protection forthwith, or we will raise this town to its foundation and stretch your bloody necks. Peace, Commodore Chamberlain. We are messengers, not executioners. Not yet. Oh, thank you, sir. God save you. Look on this as a stroke of fortune, lads. We should take the King's pardon and salvage what dignity we Please. own. Please. I'll be hanged before I surrender to that poppy. Check your head, Vane. We had here a rare opportunity, a chance to take something base and shape it into a government made and maintained by men of vision. But in two years, we pissed it away. I won't make that mistake again. It's truth he's telling, and you whelps can't handle it. But you, you folks-all headed fuddlers. See you at the gallows. You'll all be dead, men! Bastards! I need a drink. <laughs> <laughs> 